Hi, today we're going to be doing an unboxing, taste testing review of Hookah Hookah Blend Pomegranate Passion 50 grams or 1.76 ounces hookah tobacco, which is, you know, sutra. Ah. Sutra. Ah, for some reason I can't say it right today. Which is, you know, one of those days. And it comes from the company called Straight Up. I love their products. Uh, usually I get it in this little uh, plastic container tin. See, Hookah Hookah brand. So the brand is called Hookah Hookah. But this is from their new line. Or at least I think it's from their new line. The Straight Up one. And this is just from their other line. Which I like because you got the little plastic container. Um, I don't know how good you can make this out on camera, but it says ingredients 100% US tobacco, honey, uh, vegetable, gristling flavor. Uh, let me see what this Uh. Yeah, so pretty much that's all the ingredients in there. Tobacco, honey, and vegetable glucose flavoring. It's so all natural, no food coloring, no stems, no trids. That's why I like my tobacco, no stems, no trids. It's a long cut. As you can tell on the pads, the only thing that it has is, you know, flavor and stuff. It comes in this little package. Hookah, hookah. Fresh hookah tobacco. So, we're going to actually snip it open with a pair of scissors and let that. I'm going to smell it. Well, it smells just like I said, pomegranate. So, we're going to go ahead and fill our bow up with some. And let me take some out. See, it's kind of got somewhat of a watery oil to it. It's moist. It's really moist. So if uh, you do like uh, snuff, that's snuff. Yeah, I guess it is snuff. You know, like Grizzly, Timberwolf, stuff like that. That's what kind of has the texture and feel of. Like wet, moist tobacco, like that, in that type of a long cut. I'm trying to get some out so you could see if I point it up what it kind of looks like. And then, what I was talking about, instead of having that sticky st stuff that you usually find there, it's got like this little oil that you can see on my fingers, which is what I love. Because the oil, for some reason, it seems like it actually has more flavor to it, and it burns nice and evenly. With, uh, you know, the sticky kind that you actually got to add water to it to dilute it. So, you know, you can have it in the tobacco. Because when you buy them that's sticky, you're not supposed to take the sticky ones out and throw it in the bowl. You're actually supposed to put it in water. So, yeah, that's a little tip. Took me a while on the hard way to fill that one out. But after talking to some... Tobacco experts at my local tobacco shop, they tell me, if you buy it in a little pads like, you know, this, and it's real sticky, run in some water, just a little bit of water, and then you want it to turn into something like this. Maybe a uh, fitter cut, but uh, pretty much, you know, you want it to be oily, not sticky. And with this, you know, no guts and nothing like that. You just open it up, put it in the bowl, simple like that. So that's another reason why I like. Plus this hookah hookah blend, they always had the best flavors. I mean, you could really taste the flavors of it. So, let me move this out of the way. Kind of clean up a little shop area here. Yeah, there we go. Going in my hookah. It's just a little tabletop one. <clears throat> Pop 
that on there. Uh, what is it? I don't know why it looks like it's leaning to the side. That could just be my little sub here. Come on. There you go. Two hookah coals. Just because this little metal screen could hold two hookah coals. Usually if I'm putting the foils on, I'll just put one coal on. And it seems to work pretty good. So we'll let that set up for a moment. Just so we could, you know, start toasting the tobacco to get it going. So yeah, like I said, you know, usually if I'm using, let me see if I can get one of these out. Why is the stuff fighting me today? Camera, but, well, you know, just one of these sheets of hookah foils and a foil punch. Then I just use one coal, but other than that, with this, two coal seems to work fine. Move that bad a little bit. There we go. Mmm. <clears throat> it does taste like pomegranate. Yeah, I'm not really getting that much full because I don't feel I have my holes poppy line. Yeah, properly aligned in here. I mean, this grommet that's connecting the stem to the base is wearing out, and the grommet that's connecting the bow to the stem that's wearing, uh, wearing out. So it's almost gone. I gotta replace this little grommet inside here. You know what the grommet is. Uh, let me pop this off. See that little wire piece? That's called the grommet if you didn't know. So. A hookah usually comes with three sets of grommets. A grommet that's attached to uh, the stem, which goes into the base here, as you can kind of see a little bit peaching out here. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Yeah, so, uh, where did I put that? There we go. So, as you can see, why right about there, that little white, that's the grommet. It goes to the other side. A stem, and then that's what seals it to the base, right there, and then this one actually inside the bow that seals the bow to the stem, which is also connected to, of course, your hooker, coals, coal ashtray, well you want to call that piece. I don't use it as an ashtray for the coals, but yeah. And then your last ones, of course, obviously I show you and I'll show you again. Right there on your hose. And then your hose right there. So the one on my hose is perfectly fine. It's just the bow and definitely the stem one. The stem vase, I guess you could call it. That's probably my most major one that I need to get replaced and soon. But this one I still need to replace both. But uh have to make a choice. Definitely replace that one. The bow I could use for a little while longer. So it's important. Keep you hooker and top maintenance. Always remember, watch out your bow and your face after every time you smoke. Because whatever food you're trying nuts, it tastes like your previous food that was in there. So let's say we went with this pina colada flavor. I didn't clean it out. When I go to uh, the Pomegranate passion, it's not gonna taste like it. It's gonna taste like obviously pina colada. Yep. A little trick: fill your vase up 
with some ice makes a great smoke. Uh, if you have a plastic hose, watch out if you have a hose like this, like mine which one came with. So this one which one came with this red one. I really don't know how to do it because it feels like it's got some type of leather wrap around it and it's wood with metal. I really don't want to mess up if it's not waterproof. So yeah, and the flavor usually gets trapped in these hoses. So I actually got this hose. So I could actually put water in there to clean it out to get rid of the previous flavor so I could have the new flavor. And if you're wondering what this is, it's just a filter. You know, to filter a little bit more nicotine and tar. I don't know, you really don't need it. And in there I have another filter. So it reduces the bubble so you get a better smoke experience, they said. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have it on. And this wing around here is, you know, a wing to keep it there Because I know it's a lot of these glass faces. They're not really too stable and made evenly on the bottom. So this really helps out a lot, folks. It's like usually two or three bucks for this. Very cheap, very inexpensive, and definitely worth it. Especially if you're going to have this on a table. Plus, you know, if you have it on a table, you're not going to have any water marks because uh, the vase... It does sweat, especially if you add ice to it. So, uh, hope these little tips help out a lot. And if they didn't, I'm sorry, bud. You know, I try giving you what we're smoking. Obviously, it's legal. So, it's not, you know, like marijuana, illegal. The flavor, consistency, how it's cub, is it moist, long cut, sticky. Some hookah tips. A great website to go online to is actually I have one of the cards around here somewhere. Let me go grab it. my card went but this website right here hookahsutra.com as in website I bought a replacement little metal ball for this hookah it was perfectly fine I paid like 25 to 50 cents for it no I think it was 50 cents because that's why it was the metal one yeah and like within a day or two after I placed my order it came in it was like super fast Plus, they sent me stuff that I didn't order. Like, they sent me a little detail sticker that usually one's one ninety nine, and I believe this went two ninety nine, a three ninety nine. I love my bill. It's like, wait a minute, I did not purchase this can cozy and the little car sticker detail. So did I get charged for it? Love my bill? Nope. They just said, hey, we want to be nice. We'll fold us in, cause y'all. You know, they're a nice company, and that's what I like about them. So definitely, if you're looking for a hookah store to uh, or your hookah supplies from, hookahs, coals, screens, hoses, base, not base, uh, you know, little base stands, tobacco, lighters, replacement, coal tongs. This is the company, and I will leave this website down here. So it's hookah-susha.com. Yep, and of course here is also their phone number. So I'll leave off free. So top one's gonna be hookah-susha.com, and either to the side or under that would be info at hookah-susha.com, and then one eight six six hookahs dash 466-524-247. Yeah, so I mean, y'all, that was nice of them. They didn't have to send me anything. At least, you know, the little car detail that was, you know, 
something cool, and then, you know, this made my day. It was like even cooler than the car detail. And the whole thing, you know, for in the car detail, which, you know, I guess it's okay. I mean, I really don't have any complaints about it. And this, yeah, two thumbs up, which is kind of hard to do, but definitely two thumbs up. Thumbs up, best company, definitely women. Check out the website. The prices are very cheap. So their stuff is cheap. They can have high-end products there. So if you're into a uh, like Starbucks tobacco, hey, they have it there and stuff. So uh, yeah. Let me go move my coals around a bit to kind of get even burn here. And usually I sit my tons up there, or if I feel like I sit them right there. Cause this one I can't. Oh yeah, I guess I can put my hose there if I put it this way. So yeah, it's kind of got a place to keep your hose, so the hip doesn't get dirty from the mouthpiece. So really, if you want to set it up, and then, you know, set it aside, maybe grab something to eat, a little snack or a drink, have it there, and then let me see if I can kind of turn it so you can kind of see what I'm inside what I'm talking about, and then put it back up. Mmm, tasty. And then, you know, just move it around. Which I think this should be the final movement for at least a couple more minutes. But yeah. Remember to wait, subscribe, and leave a comment. Alright, thanks. Bye.